All right, y'all. Back on the water again for another saltwater session. And it is slick calm out here. So we're out here by the uh, by the Gulf waters. And I've got I brought two poles with me. I've got an artificial on this one, a little Z-Man jerk shad that we'll throw around. And right now with the conditions, I mean, we've got a pretty good shot at sight casting some uh, some redfish. We've got an incoming tide. Um, you know, the water's pretty deep here. So I would think that some of these flats should have some reds on them. Um, I've got my trolling motor on speed one right now. So I'm just gonna kind of toss this around as we're cruising down. Um, I wanna hit some docks. You know, the sheep's head bite's been real good. So we're gonna probably, you know, I don't like to count my uh, chickens before they hatch, but we're probably gonna get on some sheep's head, hopefully some reds um, and whatever else bites really. You know, I don't really come out here targeting any one thing specifically, but you know, just, I've got live shrimp. I've got these uh, artificials. So we're gonna try to find the, uh, find the bite somewhere. So, but uh, stay tuned and uh, check back in, hopefully with some uh, fishies. All right, guys, we're on first fish of the day. Feels like a sheep. Feels like a good sheep too. Got some nice dig, dig action to them. Oh, yeah. There he is. Oh, he's got he's got a whole family of sheep's head behind him. Guys, I don't know if you're seeing this, but there is sheep's head everywhere. So I'll tell you what, it's gonna be a pretty good day out here today, especially if they're biting. He took that pretty much instantly. That's a nice sheep's head. Just came right out. All right. So that was a fat sheep. Let me shoot out this camera. I'll tell you guys, he's got some weight to him. So sheepy is, you know what? I brought my lost stick today. Seventeen inches, so seventeen inch sheep's head on a live shrimp, right by the dock. And I'm telling you right now, guys, these sheep's head are everywhere. Whew. All right, let's get this guy in the bag, and we're gonna get a couple more while the bite's hot. got ripped by something probably a sheepy we can get the hook so just to kind of show you guys the setup i'm using right now it's just a little split shot and we've got a one on circle hook and this is a mutu owner hook and then a 15 pound leader maybe like a two foot length if that maybe 18 inches and we're just throwing around structure so throwing around structure in a deeper pocket because the tides still coming in so it's a bit on the lower side it's not negative this morning but still low nonetheless Let me see. big sheep's head and they're kind of moving in off the flat it looks like kind of heading this direction you know which when they're schooled up like this they can definitely move Here we go, fish on. Another good sheep. <laughs> Almost looked like he jumped. Fun fight on this little 3000 Shimano Stratic. Okay. Oh, 
in the net, then out of the net. Alright. Sheep's head number two. Good, cheapy. These guys are probably gonna run in like the 15, 15, 16 inch range. So not as big as the other one, but he's fat. So these guys are eating good out here. And this is only the first dock we've hit. So who knows uh, what's in store for the rest of the day. All right, we'll go ahead and measure this guy. So we're looking at, yeah. Over 15, it's like 15 and a half. So, another good fish. And these guys are delicious, by the way. So, great really eating fish. A little thumbnail. Okay, and see these little wiry hooks? This is what they do. Their mouths are so hard and just made for crushing. You try to get those hooks out, they just bend them like nothing, especially these little wiry ones. decimated that shrimp. Oh. Cool. Oh, that's a red. I knew that wasn't... <laughs> I knew that wasn't a cheap head. I mean, this guy's not done fighting. Not that bad. Man, don't scare away all the sheep. Yeah, I netted him up pretty quick. He probably still has a lot of fight in him, so we'll uh, probably put the grips on him. Because I don't think he was quite ready, but he was just so close to the boat. I decided to just go ahead and net him. Okay, it's so not a bad red right here. This guy's, he's probably about like 19 inches, I'd say, give or take. So, I'm gonna measure him on him real quick. Okay, and this guy's 20, it's close to 21. So, 20 inch red. Not bad. It's actually like the perfect eating size if you're going to eat them. So, and they've always got that, not always, but they have that blue tail. It's just beautiful. One spot on the side, one spot on the other side. So, good looking fish right there. So nice and healthy. Right between those pilings. Okay. Not a bad cheapie, not as big as the other ones, but should be a keeper. It's probably 13, maybe 14. guy. Okay, he's bigger than the first part of the ruler. He's at 14, so 14 inch sheepy there. So, decent day so far. We'll bag him.
There we go. Oh, he might have just broke me, actually. No, he didn't. That was such a good fish, though. Holy cow. Not sure that that was a sheep's head on that one, actually. That could have been another red. Or if it was a sheep's head, it might have been a big sheep's head. We can get the same result. And that's almost like in the exact same spot, too. Another sheep. Ooh, don't take me around the piling. Oh, this one's a red. Get him out from the piling. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. This red's not as big as the last one, but fun size. I think it might be around 18. Afraid me on that piling, so playing pretty light since we already got him by the boat. All right, man, let's not make too much commotion here. second red of the day so definitely makes for a fun day especially with these sheep's head beautiful fish so he'll be going back in the water get this hook out of him circle hook got him right in the corner too all right good looking red be on your way see you later Good times. We're gonna keep it moving here. Throw, I mean, we still got plenty of shrimp. I mean, we're talking two dozen. Um, I'm gonna have to use the bathroom here in a minute, so we'll probably dip out of here for a bit, come back and probably reposition. So I'm actually getting them right underneath the dock now. So now that the sun's come out and it's definitely a warmer day today, they're really kind of hunkering down in that shade. So and the tide's starting to move in too, so. Eventually, we can start hitting up the mangroves. So we're back down in there, and we're already getting bit again. You guys are probably having a hard time hearing me. What's that boat? Ooh! <laughs> straight ripped it. And he's 
swallowed it. Okay, so this redfish swallowed it, so that means we're gonna cut the hook, because try to dig around in there and try to get that hook out of him. It's likely gonna kill him, because he'll bleed out. So these hooks do rust out, so he'll be okay. But it's just not worth trying to get it out yourself, so just try to cut it as close as you can to the end, so he doesn't have a bunch of line hanging out of his mouth. All right, so redfish number three of the day. So one spotter on each side. All right, go home, buddy. All right, so three redfish, three sheep's head, three big sheep's head. So we'll be eating good tonight. And so I'm gonna re-rig this and we're gonna get right back to it. Back up. We are back on a fish. This one's a sheep's head. Gotta get him out from the pilings. Ah. Ooh, he almost succeeded in taking me around too. Close quarters combat. Buddy, come to the net. Head number four, I believe. All right, so another sheepy on the shrimp. And man, is that sheep's head bite on fire today! Definitely beats the 12 and 13 inches I was getting the other day. So, and these guys are great eating. I like to put Everglades breading on mine with Everglades seasoning, deep fried in canola oil, real good. And then use your favorite hot sauce. My favorite is Serrano pepper avocado sauce. Real good. You know what? We gotta measure this guy. Oh, this bag's getting heavier. Yeah, this guy's well over keeper. Talking maybe 13 ish. Back up again. I think it's gonna be another sheep. Oh no, it's another red. Oh. He's trying to go around the piling. He may have freaked me up a little bit. So, another red. Not a bad size. I'd probably go like 17. 17, 18. Right, you let me know when you're done, bud. Definitely felt some rubbing on that pile. So, another red. Right about 15. Oh, why not? In the corner. Alright, so, red number four for the day. I'll go back. 
for the proper release for this guy. Oh, proper enough for me. Whatever works for you works for me. Here we go. Another red. I might break my record for reds in one day. I think this is red number five. I think the most I've caught is five, five or six. So if we can get one more. We're all kind of around the same size too. This guy's probably 17 -ish. 17, maybe 18. Oh, that me off. Oh, he came off. Oh, didn't break my line. Ooh, yeah, we're frayed up. We're gonna change that leader out and get right back to it. Cool. He's a caught fish since I got the leader, so we'll count him as number five. Alright. Hopefully we can get a big red. Maybe something towards the top of the slot. Now we can really put this Shimano Stratic to the test. Alright, so do a leader change, jump back in. And we're right next to that piling, so it should be a good spot. It's like 1 p.m. right now and the sun's like right overhead. So you want to make sure you're getting in those shadows, especially on a hot day like this. There we go. That's a good one. He's got some weight to him. Go big sheep's head. I oh, know it's a red. It's a better red too, I think. Huge, but he's probably 19, close to 20 maybe. Oh, okay, came right off. Cool. I like these kayak side releases. I mean, you guys have seen enough redfish today anyway. I don't that shrimp right here. Mmm, I don't like that cast, but whatever. We'll leave it. So I stopped recording there for a second. But okay, we got another cheapy on the line. I mean, he is digging. Boy, he is digging. Alright, this looks like it'll be another keeper. Got a fighter. And then up. And then we'll get him in the bag. Boy, he is fat. That is a nice sheep. Come on over here, buddy. Let's take a look at you. Another fat sheep's head. So, let me just spit up something. There's water. Okay, so we'll get the hook out of this guy. And he's probably going to go about 15, I think. But he is, he is fat. I can hardly get my hand around him. This guy goes 15. Cool. Good sheep. 
All right, my friend. Appreciate your sacrifice. Thank you for playing. I'll get you on the ice. <sighs> Send this guy to Valhalla. And that's a wrap. That uh, was a good day today. Got a got on a bunch of redfish. Um, I mean, I mean, this has got to be a record day for me as far as you know catching redfish goes. Um, also, good good amount of sheep's head. Um, got I think five, so I think the limit's six. But um, yeah, we're gonna take it in now. Um, I'm gonna probably be out next weekend. I know my buddy Nate said he wanted to go fishing on Saturday, so we'll definitely be doing land based if we're fishing with Nate. Um, and then possibly Sunday, gonna fish with my buddy Sean. So I haven't been out with him in a while. But um, definitely got more stuff in store for you guys. So uh, appreciate you watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.